Yeah, like, well, Jeremy, take from here. Testing, testing. Not on. Not on. There you go. On. Is that right? Yep, you're good. Great. Uh, everyone right? Mail. Mail. Meow. Okay. Meep. Okay. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to our sponsors. You did a great job. Malt whiskey, excellent stuff if you get a chance to try it. Uh, so for this, this keynote, uh, we have a limited amount of time here, so I'm not gonna again four hours. We're gonna try and get you if you have any evening flights. Uh, so we're just gonna we're gonna do learning how to learn MySQL replication with responsive enterprise design patterns. We use some HTML5 web sockets. Uh, we're gonna do this with Microsoft SharePoint, and we're gonna use pair programming. It's, it's, it's and when we get to the share point, I'm going to hand it off to uh, Anthony for that. Uh, but in, in reality, I only have about three minutes. So if somebody wants to start to clock, we're going to do a lightning talk. And you're thinking, this is going to be about lightning? Really? Yeah, really. So lightning is this fabulous stuff. And it's, uh, if you've seen it, it's, it's hit a lot of landmarks out in San Francisco. Uh, even the Empire State Building gets hit all the time. So they have like the lightning rod on it. They probably collect internal electricity. Uh, it's even international, so we have lightning in, in Paris. So it's like, mm. uh, and then even it was responsible for ending some of uh, the recent pope step down because of the lightning strikes there. So it's, it's a really powerful force. And even you're thinking you're pretty safe in the Twin Cities, eh? But not, not really. It's, uh, it hits that quite a bit. So it ultimately, it comes down to lightning hates freedom. And so this is really, uh, this is really pretty shocking. So we're thinking about this. This lightning must be some, some magical evil force, right? No, it's really just an atmospheric phenomenon. So it's scientific. We can study it. All right, so we're going to get to measure how, how much is lightning exactly. It's approximately 1.21 gigawatts. But we realized we actually want more gigawatts. So we called the guys down in the lab and we said, we need to make this lightning more powerful. So we got the best baking soda and <laughs> distilled white vinegar that money could buy. We probably imported this in Wisconsin. I don't know why Wisconsin. And we chopped off the top of a mountain and we poured all that baking soda and distilled vinegar into it. And then it started erupting. <laughs> So at this point, we waited for some lightning to come by, and then holy crap, we've got volcanic lightning! And now this is pretty ironic how much damage is in front of three points of damage in the Apparently, we have six points of damage. So lightning is now this impossible weaponized force by, used by evil cats around the world. And I've been on the receiving end of lightning. Sometimes I, I don't often lose at Mario Kart, but what I do is because somebody has a lightning bolt. And additionally, lightning has been used for, as, a, as a weapon for, I mean, in prisons, things like that. So lightning is, is pretty dangerous stuff. So we want to protect ourselves from lightning. So I'm going to just go over a couple of tips, some pro tips that you can take to make sure that you're safe from lightning. So how do we avoid lightning? Don't stand out in the field, especially if you're holding an umbrella. It's probably a dangerous place to be. Also, if you're doing sheep dipping, sheep have been known to attract lightning, so you want to stay away from sheep. <laughs> you're, if you're also out in the field, you don't want to go into every tree. Those are the right targets for lightning. And then finally, phone booths. I don't know why you'd have a phone booth out in the field, but don't go into it if you do. Unless it's a TARDIS, in which case you can go back in time before the lightning hit you. That's awesome. <laughs> So what are the odds of I'm actually going to hit by lightning? It's approximately one in infinity, which is not really mathematical, so let's actually dump it down. We'll go to Randall for XKCD, and he calculated about one in seven million from the US. The stats of people actually know this is much less. So you're reasonably safe, so let's focus on the good qualities of lightning. <laughs> so everybody's familiar with Pikachu. Pikachu harvests lightning for powers of good, unless you're, he's fighting you, and let's not get into that. So he's great friends with Snorlax. When Snorlax is by lightning, he just takes a nap. These two get along like clams. So, <laughs> additionally, we went back to test and we said, so lightning, it's, it's friendly, we can harness it, maybe we can harness it for some good things. So what can we do with lightning that would be really fascinating? So we went back to 1955. You know where this is going. We got our DeLoreans. Doc Brown came out again after the 1.21 gigawatts. And we went back in time. That's fantastic. So, so afterward, we thought lightning. So we're going back in time. We can invent things now. So let's start making things with lightning. So we were able to charge up cell phones. Apple took this a step further from your, and brought it to your smartphone. Now we have lightning cables, which I wouldn't recommend using HD output for that. Do some bad things. So then we also got the cars. Tesla, this is the first version of the Tesla car. Nobody wanted to drive this, so we spruced it up a little bit and made it a little sexier. So now you get to drive around this. This is powered by lightning, but now we have lightning going around in cars. Lightning might already be there. So we needed some way to capture lightning and move it around. So we contacted some farmers out in the Amish country in Pennsylvania. They found a way to bottle lightning. That's excellent. I'm going to leave you on one parting note. One time lightning struck a rainbow when Neil Patrick Harris was born, and that's a true story. <laughs> Thank you.